a very good morning to my dear students hope you all are well stay home stay safe stay motivated and start studying because it's high time we all should study i harita malani working as an assistant professor in electronics communication department of manikera alvarma textile engineering and textile and engineering college pilbara today i'm delivering my online lecture on subject fiber optic communication and topic to be discussed is types of optical couplers this is my fourth lecture in the previous lectures i have discussed the basic introduction variety of couplers active and passive couplers and the fiber core and surface type of couplers in continuation with that lecture today i am starting with basic types of optical couplers so there are five to six different couplers so first we will discuss y coupler so y coupler in the shape of alphabet y that means it is having one input and two output ports the power is transmitted from input to output output side we are having two ports so y coupler is also called as tap coupler this type of coupler simply divides the signal into two outputs the power distribution ratio between two outputs can be precisely controlled and it maintains the split ratio the power distribution ratio as 10 is to 90% 20 is to 80 30 is to 70 40 is to 60% or 50 is to 50% so this is y coupler next is my t coupler in the alphabet t so it is again having one input and two output terminals so t couplers figure shows second figure shows that we can cascade to get a multiple terminals on a t network we can connect n number of t networks if we are having n number of we need um, more number of output terminals then we can cascade this t coupler so t couplers can be cascaded to connect multiple terminals on a network t t couplers are readily available and can be terminated with standard connectors like sc st fc lc etc and you can quickly set up a small network with t couplers so what does mean by sc sc is a standard connector st is a straight tip connector fc is a parallel connector and lc is a local connector so we can connect this connectors on the basis of our application needed next these are the images of all the different connectors so fc this is lc and this is sc connector next is my star coupler so by the name we get what is the significance of star coupler it is having multiple inputs and multiple outputs so this figure shows n number of input ports and n number of output ports so what it does star coupler have multiple inputs and outputs the input and output port number could be the same or not for example we can have 2 cross 2 2 cross 4 4 cross 4 8 cross 8 different types of star coupler so role of star coupler star coupler distributes the input power uniformly among the output fiber there are two types of star couplers and this is a package of star coupler if i want to purchase it from market i have to tell the specific name which type of star coupler i want and how i will decide ki which star coupler is needed it depends on the application which we are using it next is my types of coupler first type is directional star coupler the first type is directional it mix optical signals from all inputs and then distribute them among all outputs so this is a first type mixing optical signals from all inputs and then distribute them among all outputs is shown in the figure previous figure these are bi directional devices because they also can transmit light in the opposite direction so this is having two types unidirectional and bi directional star coupler this direction type of star coupler is made by fusing multiple fibers together in the next time i can I, i will show you how these are fused so this is my directional coupler next is non directional star coupler so this is the second type it it takes input from fiber and then distribute them among all fibers both input and output means a signal applied to any fiber appears at all other remaining fibers appears at all other remaining fibers 
ठीक है इन अ नॉन डायरेक्शनल टाइप ऑफ स्टार कपलिंग डिवाइस अ सिग्नल अप्लाई टू एनी फाइबर अपीयर्स एट ऑल अदर रिमेनिंग फाइबर्स विद द यूज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्टिव मिरर्स सच कपलर्स कैन बी यूज्ड टू वर्क एज अ डायरेक्शनल रिफ्लेक्टिव स्टार कपलर दिस टाइप ऑफ कपलर डजंट हैव लार्ज डिमांड बट दे आर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट सी दिस वी आर शोइंग हाउ फाइबर कपलिंग इज डन द फर्स्ट शोस n number of fibers ठीक है कपलिंग रीजन इज डिफाइंड बाय ट्विस्टिंग द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर्स क्लियर तो n number of inputs n number of outputs second method by fusing or melting the fiber third is by fiber tapering next i am showing you non directional star coupler see this is the figure of star coupler what do you mean by non directional non directional means he input a signal apply to any fiber this is my port number 1 input port number 1 the signal is applied to this port it will be uniformly distributed at all other ports including input as well as output so this is my non directional star coupler there are so many advantages because if i want to have n number of input and output terminals then i can't use cascaded t coupler network because it will produce so much of loss because each t coupler will add some noise some losses to the final designing so instead of t coupler cascade t coupler i will use star coupler this is because star coupler requires only one input connector and suppose only one excess loss the larger number of terminals the more significant are the loss benefits so this is the advantage of star coupler clear any doubt next i will discuss tree coupler tree by the name tree see it's very easy tree having input trunk supplying output to all the branches so here i am having tree coupler this is the diagram having one input port and n m number of output ports opposite is also possible this is one cross n tree coupler and this is n cross one tree coupler and in market it is available and you can see the image ki how it looks like so this is my tree coupler its package name is also mentioned over here so tree couplers are also called one cross n couplers because they take one or two inputs and split it into multiple outputs tree couplers distribute the power input power uniformly among the output fibers some may combine multiple inputs to one or two outputs so this second n cross one is also possible so most common configurations are here one cross four one cross eight till one cross 32 and if two inputs are there the combination is two cross four two cross eight two cross 32 port ratios three couplers have been extensively used to split and mix optical signals and lands and all other kinds of optical communication system so next coupler is my wdm coupler wavelength division multiplexing coupler so wdm couplers what it does it selects wavelength okay all other couplers are not depending on wavelength they are wavelength independent this is wavelength dependent coupler so wdm coupler separate optical signals according to their wavelength they look like one cross two t coupler but they do not just split the power blindly but rather split two different wavelengths into two outputs and the wavelengths are mentioned as 1310 15 oblique 1550 nanometers or the second combination is 980 oblique 1550 nanometer couplers so wdm couplers are used to separate wavelengths transmitted for different purposes through the same fiber such as separating the light pumping an optical amplifier from the amplified signal they should block wavelengths from entering the wrong output port so today i will wind up my class with this different types of coupler in next class we will discuss coupled mode analysis of directional coupler that is that is again a very lengthy topic and very important so please students my request that prepare a copy write down this important headings at least and draw a few diagrams in your copy and i hope you will enjoy this lecture and please study thoroughly thank you 